guys so today we did a pretty big shop at Costco and we also went to a fruit and veg shop as well to get this week's groceries so here we go so first up I got this giant tub to put storage in it has blue lid um, we got two others and they fit perfectly in the sauna on the um, like the, where you sit so I've got another one then we've got uh, all our bread for the week there then I got this because it was my, uh, some on sale for six dollars for afternoon snack tonight and then I got a bunch of lamingtons as well for um, afternoon snack for one night then a whole bunch of apples these are a dollar a kilo for those that are in the Glen Waverley ish area um, these are from the uh, big watermelon fruit shop on that I think it's High Street I'm not sure um, but it's not far from us so um, yeah so all of this fruit and veg came from there for anyone that wants to know that I find it really cheap if you go on their Facebook page they put up daily sales um, so today was potatoes were a dollar a kilo bananas were $1.99 I don't think that was in their sale though um and uh pink lady apples were a dollar a kilo so here are the bananas we got so they should last about half a week and then about half a week and then all the potatoes are up here i grouped them in so we use 16 potatoes per meal so they're in there so that's two meals so then the rest is from costco and that first section was from costco so these are batteries because we're completely out of batteries as I keep getting told. Um, eight milks because that is all that's going to fit in our fridge. Um, this isn't food but um, Nora needed um, new sets and these are $18. So they're pretty cute. I don't have anything on the back I don't think. And then this one I loved the little stripy leggings. So I got them. So they're two warm jumpers. Then I got these for the little kids to read. And then I really liked this book. Because um, the boys are really into alphabet and colours. So I like this one because it has A and then it goes through. So it looked really good. So I got that one for them. For their colours. And then they had these. These are for me to read. So I've got Hawaii and France. So I like to read those ones and they were pretty cheap. And then I've got mushrooms from the greengrocer and the onions as well. Costco, I got the tomatoes because they were cheaper. And the cucumber and the carrots were cheaper at Costco. So I got them there. Then I got a massive big um, dishwashing liquid. And then Tyler needed to stock up on his milk again. They actually had strawberries. So I got strawberry and chocolate. Then these, I really like these. Um, they taste really fresh. And the corn is really nice as well. And their beans are really good too. But um, I didn't need any, so I didn't need So they're just for like vegetables on the side of meat and veg. Then these, I love these. Um, especially at the moment. Um, a few of the little kids have like a cold and flu. So these are really quick, just throw them in with a packet of stir fry veggies that I already have from last Costco haul. And then a bit of, um, I use uh, Master Foods soy, honey, soy and garlic or whatever, which way they put it, that one. And then the other one is to make beef stroganoff. Then I've got chicken, which I do a range of things with. I have no idea what I'm doing with it this fortnight. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then this is just for steak and veggies. So the potatoes will go with that. Cheese. We've been eating heaps of shredded cheese on wraps and stuff. So I just got that because it's cheaper. This cheese here I like. I actually find I spend less on cheese. So this is actually more expensive per kilo. But when the kids were hacking at the cheese to make it for sandwiches from the blocks. I was going through like four blocks a week. So it ended up cheaper. This lasts for about a week and a half for all of their cheese sandwiches they have so um i do look at that when i look at pricing so i find this one cheaper for use 
not for per kilo. So if you want to go per kilo, it is cheaper to buy the um, Woolies six or seven dollar block. And then um, it's coming into birthday season. Stephen's birthday is in two weeks. So, and then we've got one three weeks after that, and it just keeps rolling from there until pretty much February now. Um, so yeah, I've got those three, and they're the ones that go either way. So I can use one for Stephen, one for Andrew, one for Cooper, one for Lachlan, and one for Bella and Caitlin, or vice versa, or whatever. So I have no idea what that comes to because Bella has the receipt in the car with Eric. So he's gone to do school run. So I will put the total down here for both. Um, I'll separate them. So I'll put one on one side and one on the other. Um, yeah, and so that's um, all of our food. Now for everyone that um, comments that I should shop at different shops. So I do it in a random system. So every week I go to Coles or Woolies. Um, Costco is usually fortnightly, so every other week. Um, and Aldi, I only go to probably every other month. So I only buy certain things from there. I don't find it massively cheaper to go there every week. Um, their milk's the same price, their bread's the same price. I don't like their fruit and vegetable. Their meat is the same price. Um, the kids' snacks, um, are cheaper, but... I really don't want to go there just to buy snacks and um, yeah so I buy their pasta I used to buy their p pasta sauce because um, it was cheaper than Woolies but Woolies has matched the price now it's on one of theirs they have so uh, yeah I don't really find it that much cheaper anymore because the big the two big ones have matched the price to their pricing now so if one hasn't the other has so I just go there and it's really inconvenient where we live now where it is it's really hard to park it's frustrating so um, yeah I think some things come for me come down to ease as well as um, price like um, like the big bags of veggies here it's actually a little bit cheaper to buy the Woolies ones but these are so much nicer um, and they come in a big packet so I'm not wasting as much packaging so yeah so that I look at as well especially the meat I can buy those big trays from here it's one tray that's in the bin um, it's pretty much the same price and um, the ones that are stripped I can spend a little bit more because um, it's easy and it's easier than me going and getting takeaway so um, they're $30 each so that some mushrooms, um, the packet of um, beef stroganoff, or the sauce that I buy, or the veggies that go with the stir fry, um, equal about $40. So I find it a lot cheaper than going out and buying takeaway at this stage. Um, and the cooking in this house isn't as easy as it was in the old house. So I am finding meals are a little bit more expensive. So, yeah, um, so that's how I sort of work on cost as well. It has to be easy um, and efficient because, you know, I've got lots of toddlers that run around me and not in the easiest kitchen. So in our other kitchen, we could actually block them off from going into the kitchen. So, yeah, um, yeah, so that's it for this week. So I hope that answers a few of the questions on why don't I shop at Aldi or um and pricing and stuff so that's all for this week like subscribe and comment below bye guys